Okay. I'm Marion Diogardi, and I'm an oil painter here showing at Newton Open Studios today at Art in the Villa. And I'm showing with my friends and colleagues, Jeffrey Austrian, Jean Mackles, Will Kirkpatrick, and um, Sydney Hutter, who is a glass sculptor. The four oil painters showing here today have been together for over 10 years when we studied under Ed Stitt in a l'atelier, which means in the studio. And we've been colleagues and painting buddies ever since. And today my work is in the kitchen, in my home. I'm very lucky to call Art in the Villa also home. And I have a studio in the South End. You're going to see that it's really quite in contrast to my home, um, which is an aesthetic place and a place where I relax. But my studio is a workplace. I very often don't clean up here. I just work away. I was in a painting mania since January. I had, last year, I had a full year of commissions, which means that um, really all the work was defined by my client's needs. And that the last commission was delivered in January to California. And then since then I've been able to have free form painting. And I had a whole year of pent up painting energy that I just let loose and I got seven paintings done. And this is my largest painting um, here at the show today. It's called Trove, which means a, um, oh, a pile of delightful things, as in treasure trove. And when I paint with my colleagues who are here today in Maine, they tend to go for landscapes, which are green and blue and earth colors. And I'm always looking around for something a little bit different and a little bit colorful. And so one day it came across the buoys and piles, these were being discarded, and I felt like, you know, I had fallen into a treasure cave. And so I did a series of um, reference photographs for this series, and these are the ones that I really started in February that just really excited me and got me painting so friendly. But this was the first one I did. and. Um, I was very happy with it, especially with the, um, the lobster trap. I had always wondered about how I would paint a lobster trap, and I found out, and it was a very exciting learning experience and a very physical um Well, these are my buoy paintings that are very textural, and I call them my meta paintings because they're paint Paintings about paint, done with paint. So um, they're very fun to do. They're textural. I think you should touch them. Um, they're on board, so I do let people touch them when they ask. And I mimic not only the colors, but I also mimic the textures of the buoys that include peeling paint and blistering paint. I prefer to paint on location, and when I started with the buoys, I did paint live from an actual pile of buoys that was on the dock in Minturn on Swans Island. So I did a, several studies there, but then I took photographs. However, photographs will never give you the color you want, and I happen to be very lucky with a good color memory. And so I can take my color references, even if they're in black and white, and paint them using the drawings from the references, and I just paint the colors I remember and I feel. Well, in 2001, uh, for our honeymoon, we went to Venice and we spent a month there. And during that entire month, I was just captivated by the laundry once again, because that had been my job in East Boston as a little girl to hang out the laundry. 
and it was just part of that beautiful back porch view of everybody's laundry hanging and the colors and the wind and when I went to Venice it just transported me and so I spent the whole month taking nothing but photographs of laundry and I've been painting them ever since. Well, that's my series on neon plastic cups that are transparent. And in this painting, all the ellipses are joined and interlocking, and you, they really look like, you know, if you hit one um, cup in one, at one end, it'll just ripple through to the other end. And it just reminded me of the entanglement theory in physics where everything is connected to everything and that you can take two seemingly um, unconnected things and affect both items by just affecting one. And so whenever I do my neon cups, I, I feel like I'm in that dimension, this multi-dimensional entangled um, painting.